Pride flags are not allowed in Kettle Moraine schools. This is affecting more than just employees. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne live with why a large crowd expected at tonight's board meeting. Brett? Yeah, that's right. And the superintendent says pride flags are considered political and therefore against the employee code of conduct. Students in the ACLU question that. Bethany Proven and Britton Farrar say they learned a lot during their freshman year at Kettle Moraine High School, but a lesson learned over the summer. It's not right. Maybe one they'll never forget. Last month, they launched a change.org petition to get the school board to reverse a policy that bans pride flags in the classroom. So far, 13,000 people have signed it. It doesn't feel like my school supports us. For the last few months, the school board has discussed the district's employee code of conduct. Teachers and administration will not have political flags. Superintendent Stephen Plum said in July, anything that includes slogans like Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, or even preferred pronouns in a teacher's email signature are considered political. If you have a policy that says nothing political, does that mean you can't have a sign up that says, for example, support our troops or believe women or save the planet? I mean, by some people's definitions, all of those things are political. Christine Donahoe is a staff attorney with the ACLU of Wisconsin. She's looking closely at this case and a similar policy that was approved in the school district of Waukesha last fall. But it really looks like targeted attacks at specific viewpoints. During past board meetings, some have supported the policy. Since when do we need to validate everyone's belief system? But these students hope Tuesday's meeting will change course. Having a rainbow flag in your room isn't pushing your beliefs on someone. Um, it's just saying, hey, you're welcome here. We support you. Now we reached out to every school board member and the superintendent by email. No one returned our requests for an interview. Tonight's meeting starts at 7 and of course we'll be there to cover it. Reporting live in Wales, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Yeah, they won't be able to avoid the camera we're going to have in the room there. All right, Brett, thanks.